Ivan, greetings from Beijing to you. And I know that you are in the village right now of the Olympics. So let us know about how you feel about the village itself. Is it something as you expected, or you know, uh, is something out of your expectation? Yeah, actually, uh, this is the second time for me uh, joining the Olympic Games. So, but I'm still very excited being in the village. So, so every day we're walking to the restaurant. And then walking in the village, we're just looking around, talking to different people. So it's really it's a fun experience. But can you really walk around, talk to them freely in the way because of the、uh, COVID-19 situation right now? I know the village has a lot of restrictions. Yes, I mean we all wearing masks. So even though we're, we can, can still talk, but we are still, you know, keeping the social distancing to each other. So. <laughs> It's we're trying to protect ourselves the best. Right. I mean,、uh, being there in the Olympics is very different, as many people would say, from participating in Grand Slam events as you did, and also、uh, some other tournaments. I mean, how different is it? It's a huge difference, actually.、Um, so I played first round yesterday. So once I stand on the tennis court, I feel. Like I feel the pressure because I feel responsible playing for China, and also it's it's different playing you know on tour with the individual games. But on the other hand, I feel very motiv motiv motivated. So I feel like I have the you know I can I give my best, and then I can see the、um, energy from my myself, and I think how we. Made it at the end is just the teamwork, is the spirit. Right, right. So I we're just very happy. And、uh, let us know about your preparation for the next match, and、uh, how far do you think you can really push to go? <laughs> uh, yes, we're playing. You know, one of the best players in the world tomorrow, Ash Barty, and she also she's one of my favorite player on tour,、mm -hmm. and I really like her. As a person, and also、uh, I like her game as well. And she's always very calm and confident. So I think for me, it's gonna be very excited tomorrow. I think I will give all I can tomorrow. You know, when you are back to the village, do you talk to your teammates or your roommates, and also all these Chinese delegation members, if you can see them? Yes, actually, we're staying all together in the same apartment. It's just we're staying. We have like different rooms, so we are we're just talking, chatting to each other every day, and then you know have fun, enjoying the game every day, and then like enjoying the you know Olympic Village. Talking about village again, how good is the food, and how you know comfortable is the accommodation, if you will? Well, I think this is the best. I think for me, it's one of the best、uh, like event for you know for for all the tournament I I I I had before because I was in Rio four years five years ago. I think the food here for us it's very good because you know we're in Japan and we're all you know Asian, so we always go to the Asian corner. So we pick sushi,、uh -huh. you know, salad and rice. Yeah, we we like it. I mean, back to the competition venues. I mean, do they really practice COVID-19 restrictions very, very strictly? Yes, I think pretty much.、Um, we have, you know, a lot of rules. We can't really shower if we don't have a match in this, you know, in the locker room. So we were like, oh my God, it's gonna be hard. And also, you know, we have to like wearing mask wherever we are. Except you know when we're having dinner or eating, so yeah, it is very strict, and we have to do the you know test every day. How much would you like to remember, or in what way would you like to remember this particular Olympics in Tokyo, like no other? Generally, it's every four year, right? But this is you know the fifth year that you know I think it. It's never happened before. This is so. I feel like this is a very special event in my whole life. I will remember this forever. And also because of the COVID, I think 
I'm sure it's just one year, you know, they extended one year. I'm sure there are so many stories about all the athletes. So maybe one year it's, it's normal to the normal people, you know, like we just work or, but for athletes, I, I think it's not easy for, you know, just keep training for another, you know, 365 days and to be ready for the Olympic Games. So actually, I'm looking forward to, you know, to watch some of the documentary about all the players. All right, Ivan, and you're only 33, uh, 32 years old and still have a long way to go. And hopefully uh, the next Olympics will also be uh, uh, around to you as well. And uh, we'd like to see you there. And thank you so much and all the best to you in the upcoming matches. Thank you so much, Ivan, for your time. Really, thank really appreciate you. it. Thank you. It's an honor.